Samsung Studio in the condominium only sit on the front of the television and do not see. Right. <laughs> One beer. <laughs> Hey folks, and welcome to a beautiful day here. We're just we're just leaving Bang San, heading south, going to the next town uh, due south of Bang San, which is called Bang Pra. And I'm kind of staying off to the side here because this is going to come up pretty quick on me. I, I've never been here before, and I don't want to miss it. But we're going to a place today that builds uh, tiny houses, and they're not they're not exactly real real tiny, but they're they're pretty tiny. But you'll see, and. Um, I, I thought I'd take a look at that. I, I like looking at stuff like that. And it's a really, it, it's another whole kind of option uh, for somebody who, who wants to live here long term, uh, retire here, whatever. And not everybody, everybody's different. I was going to say not everybody's the same. Clearly, everybody's different. Some people happy with a, a small condo or apartment. Some people want to build their big dream house. Uh, this is something kind of in between. This might be for somebody that uh, likes a house and land and all the things that go along with that, but is on a kind of a, a tight budget. So this is the place. Yeah, that's the home builder there. Signs all on tie. Uh, looks like he's also built that little, I don't know what you call that, little, little pagoda or something. Uh, but yeah, the factory isn't quite what I uh, imagined as a factory of, of home building be uh, to look like, but... I guess it is what it is. We'll go in and take a look, but we're not going to spend much time here anyway, because I, I actually want to go and look at the uh, look at the houses and the and the process. Ah, oh, sweet! The guy's got a Z800, same colors as uh, my bike. Anyway, let's go in and uh, see what's doing. So that's where they build them. Not much to see there. Um, there's all the the wood they're using. We'll, we'll talk about later the the wood, the older wood. The wood might look kind of old and, uh, well, old, but there's a reason for that. But um, not much to see here. Let's go look at a couple of these finished products, uh, see what they look like when they're built or being built. He's got one that's being built, and he's got one that's like a model, a sample that's already built. So let's go take a quick look. <laughs> So yeah, this guy has a full whole whole catalog of different models and things on that iPad there and pictures of ones that he's built. Uh, a lot of them look, look pretty nice. So we're going to pile in his car here and we'll go down the road. The first one we'll go to look at will be a, 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 like a sample house, not the biggest and grandest. But, you know, this is what he has for a sample. So we'll take a look at this. Um, as you can see, a lot of the living space here is outside. That's kind of Thai style. And you, you've got a, just two rooms in here. I guess you'd have like a multi-function kitchen type uh, kitchen room. And then you'd have a sleeping room. Um, not, not that big. Not that, not that big. But uh, I guess if you can combine it with the outside space, maybe you'd eat your meals out there or something. Uh, for, for some people, this may be big enough, and he does make bigger models. This is this is a smaller one, but here again, it is a tiny house. So the way I, I kind of compared this to cost-wise to living in a condo, this house, as it sits here, installed, delivered, all set up, and he would put the lights and the fixtures and all that in uh, the bathroom. He would he would he would make it complete for 390,000 baht so right at about 12,000 US dollars so if you look at this over time I compared it to living in a condo over 10 years so if you live in a condo for 10 years at 8,000 baht a month that's 960,000 baht over 10 years 10 years is 120 months which would be just under 30,000 US dollars this house is 12,000 US dollars. So that leaves you 18,000 to rent the land. Uh, consequently, there's a, there's a nice sized piece of land, about 580 square meters, well over 6,000 square feet uh, close by where I live. And it's renting for 5,000 baht a month. So over 10 years, the, at 5,000 baht a month, plus the price of this house, you'd be at right about the same within $1,000 over 10 years of living in a condo it would be the same thing you walk away from both afterwards 
but the house you do have the potential of being able to keep it if the if you got a good deal on the land you have to be you know uh, you have to get a lawyer or something to do the contract the lease on the land uh, it's very it's legal for you to lease land or rent land uh, you just want to make sure you've got a good lease and there's all the all the right clauses in there that'll protect you but uh, it, it, it's an option that's a the smaller one they still have to build a, a bathroom but you can put it just about anywhere they've got it sitting on cement here uh, I, I don't know that you'd have to have a whole slab seems to think you could just make pylons for it it's got uh, like legs and I don't know what the maintenance would be in terms of keeping it stained it looks like a stain on there not paint i don't know if it's polyurethane I'm not sure but it's it's wood however you would take care of wood that's what you'd have to do metal roof <laughs> it's another option i guess so another thing that might be interesting is in thailand what these are referred to are knockdown houses not sure why that is, uh, but that's what they call them. Uh, you know, I'm the kind of person I'm probably just happier in a condo. I don't know that I would want something like this. But everybody that comes here is different. There are so many different living arrangements. Uh, I think this is definitely one of them. Oh. So this is the second one here. I think, believe this one might even be a little bit smaller than the last one. But this lady here, very nice lady, she owns this this blue house, and it's a corner house. She's got this extra land, and she's she's ordered one of these just to put in as a as like a guest house. So. Um, this one they are building on site they, they, they're not delivering this on a truck which is how they do a lot of these they just deliver them on a truck but this one uh, there was uh, not enough clearance so i'll show you show you why in a second that would be the bathroom over there this kind of reminds me of just a a little beachfront uh, a bungalow type of thing basically a bedroom and a, and a bathroom right there and a nice front porch i've seen uh, things like this on some of the islands that you can rent uh, you know, overnight as like a hotel room kind of arrangement. So I think it'd be perfect for that, actually. Very nice. I like the, the color. I like the wood. Yeah, because the, this one they built up by the the old wood that they bring out from somewhere, from the old house, this and this, and make it all new. So yeah, she explained that it's better to use, it's more sought after to use old wood that's maybe come from a torn down house or something. Uh, the, the brand new fresh lumber uh, can swell up in the heat and the humidity and the rain, I guess, and it, it can warp and then it can shrink. And she says you're much better off with this uh, kind of aged wood that's not going to change shape or anything like that. She liked my idea about comparing the cost of this to a condo. She was kind of interested in that and she agreed this would maybe even come out cheaper. It depends <laughs> how the feeling you're living in a condominium or the wooden house. Yes. It's different feeling. But house you can make some yeah, garden, some, garden, some vegetables. Some yeah. This is uh, that you have something to do. In the condominium only sit on the front of the television and do nothing. Right. <laughs> One beer. <laughs> Sir, a mile or two outside of Sriracha. And they're actually <clears throat> they're actually kind of stick building this one right here because the trucks can't fit in with the uh, low wires. So they bring it in in pieces or almost like a stick build type job and and build it here. Same price, same price if they bring it in if they build it back in that factory or if they build it here. Same price. Um, the cement they they do the cement. Uh, the guy told me it was included. The lady, the customer here told me it was extra, so um, I guess it depends on what kind of deal you make and all the circumstances, but they're nice little houses. It, it, it's, a, it's an option, possibly, um, for living. You have to get the right deal on land, of course, and uh, get one that you're happy with and it's big enough and meets your needs, but even here in this little neighborhood, it's all, 
full of houses, like, like a little subdivision. And she wanted something like a little guest house. What, what a great, what a great way to add a little guest house. She's got a corner, corner lot here. So she has the room and um, she, she can even still squeeze a car in there for parking when it's done. She's got a little guest house. So this, this could also be an option for somebody who has a, has a piece of land, has a house or an existing house. That just an addition, could be an addition, doesn't have to be a primary. But interesting. So on the way home, I spotted this little roadside restaurant. We decided to stop here and see what we could get. I guess we'll have a little early lunch here. This place has pad thai. I haven't had a pad thai in a long while. With all the street carts being uh, closed down for that long. And it'd be nice to have a nice pad thai here. Yeah, I guess while we while we watch this lady cook up our pad thai here, uh, kind of review this. So, yeah, I mean, buying that buying that little tiny house um, and then renting the land that would be kind of the comparison I used. Um, you can get long-term rentals here. Again, you'd have to be very careful. I'm no expert in renting land. You definitely have to talk with somebody who is, because uh, you don't want to spend all that money and then and then get run off the land or you know. Uh, a potentially the kind of house you could take with you though especially if it came on a truck they might be able to load it back on a truck and move it so it's another option uh, but for people that like country style living now in Seanbury where I live land is at a premium it's in the proximity of Bangkok it's in the proximity of the sea but you get up country in places like Pechboon or places in Isan land becomes uh, a lot more a lot, a lot cheaper to rent here again, depending where it is. You also need to be cognizant of how close you are to a road. Uh, utility hookups for your electric and stuff like that. Um, you you want to keep that in mind because that could get very costly very quick if uh, they got to put a bunch of telephone or electric uh, poles up. Well, anyway, here comes the uh, comes the pad thai. So let's check it out. Yeah, 50 baht a portion. How do you like that? Pretty good. Pretty pretty good and tasty pad thai. It was, it was a nice snack. It got us back on our way. So that'll do it for the tiny house episode and kind of how that compares to the cost of living in a condo. Keep in mind, uh, in this area, there aren't as many uh, opportunities and situations for these tiny houses. You get up country a little bit, up around Ayutthaya they're everywhere uh, there's more dealers and, and builders of these tiny houses up where there's there's a i guess more land that would be available for things like that here around chonbury and bangkok not so much but it, it still could be an option but anyway i'm going to leave this off here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now